to get, be shipped out that I'm getting my good friend Liv who is very sweet and is going to come help me today so I thought I would just vlog that a bit and yeah show you what happens when we get orders I guess receiving orders and then just dispatching them and packing them up and getting them sent off to customers so it's going to be a hot day today here in Melbourne it's going to be 29 and as you guys know I am very pale so I need like extreme 50 plus coverage and I still get sunburned. So I'm just making sure I am fully covered and then we will head off. Oh, and I forgot to say, I am wearing my Little Green Panda t-shirt today. And in the back it says plugs over plastic. I don't know if you can see. Of course. So yep, feeling very on brand. Branded boxes. Oh no! They did it. All good! All good! Oh my god, I nearly had a heart attack. Why are you doing these ones then? Maybe check another 20 just in case. Yeah, these are branded. Oh, thank god! Oh my god, I was sweating. Oh my god! I started. Oh, these are branded. Okay, let's just oh my move god. this out of the way. That might what? be the last service. What is this? That is just. Oh my god. Okay, this is a problem for later. Yeah. Hopefully, it's just the one. Yeah, that was. I was stressing for you for a second. I, I was stressing too. That was scary. Okay, they're in the boxes, you guys. Arriving in the beautiful boxes. Ta -da! Ah. Look at all these beautiful fresh straws that have just arrived, and I am in love. The wheat straws—they were our very first straw 
videos that we've done. I don't actually know if I've showed you our packaging, but I'm really proud of it. This is what it looks like. This is what we sell to bars and nightclubs. These are the original wheat straws. So, as the box suggests, they are the original straws from the 1800s, which are actually the straws that was first used before plastic or paper was invented. So how cool is that? And um, yeah, we're just bringing it back to the surface and, you know, using Mother Nature to come up with different ways of creating packaging. And so these are the wheat straws. And what's really cool, and I'll try and link a video, like when I went to see the farmers who actually make our straws for us, these are actually leftover stalks for making hats and bags. How cool is that? So that's literally a byproduct, a waste product from the fashion industry. And I've turned them into drinking straws. Look at that. And so these just go to all these clubs and bars and replace the skinny little black skinny straws. And that does just the trick to replace them. So that's the box. What do you guys think? Yes, girl! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! All these? <laughs> and we're done! <laughs> Putting these on the trolley. I'm in your head, I invest, that's a short term fee Got it locked, I'm the best, well at least that's what I think Give me props when I rap, pick you up, turn me uh, Big bag, I'm in it, I get it, I got it Going north, not south, cause I rise when I rap Bars on flex, let me show you what I'm about Young black boy from the villa, get my yes. city proud huh? We had a little accident <laughs> Why you don't get unexperienced people to help you extra? Duh! Everything and everything a girl wants you to be Shit, they love it when I speak Batty to the left of me, she kissing on my cheek All up on my way, they wanna catch me at the beach Like, ooh, soaking up the heat Melanin all on my body, black or very sweet Once I'm up, the homies up, cause everybody eat Popping like it's double bubble, you gon' really see A few moments later It is now a couple hours later I have just finished packing Another big pallet of all of these big boxes To go out these are going to be going to across Victoria. So if you see them out and about, make sure to let me know. I always get so excited when I see them. Or when I hear like people tagging me or sending me a photo, it always makes my heart so happy. So right now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to go out into the dispatching area. We're going to put everything onto the pallets as you saw before and then I'm going to show you how I schedule for my freight forwarder to come and collect the pallets. I will also take you through that process with me and then we are going to, depending on the time and if I'm not too tired, try and like empty everything, all the new stock that just came on board. I'm going to nicely put it on the shelves just because the Virgo in me gets a bit off edge when I see um, when I have a messy warehouse. So yeah, again, I'm probably talking too far ahead of time. I might be too tired to do it and that will be another day job, but I'm going to try and hold myself accountable and I'm going to put this on here. So let's do it. Now this part here is the part I really don't like the most. It's literally taking this wrap and just wrapping it all around the pallet, sort of like this, if you can see. Just wrapping it all around and that's just it's going to protect when it goes on a big truck and goes to the next destination. Now before any of you come at me, I am aware that this is probably not the most sustainable option but there is no eco-friendly option to date yet to replace this 
plastic film and unfortunately I have tried. It is a requirement to send pallets have to be wrapped, like that is literally the requirement. So until I can find a home compostable version, I need to use this. This however is recycled plastic, so it is a little bit better in a way, but yeah. Ideally, if I could, I wouldn't use it, but sadly, it is a requirement by door, so. <laughs> anyway, moving forward. This part actually hurts, so I have little gloves that I put on, and these are like lifesavers, because otherwise, when I go round and round, it just destroys my hand. So that was the part of me wrapping that palette. It is actually really quick once you like have the gloves and you're up a bit. It does take really long when you're at the bottom because that's like the most important part and I always stuff that up. But yeah, okay. That one felt like I have like little birds around my head or something. Okay, moving on. So that was the exciting part of wrapping the palettes. I hope that you found that very entertaining. So now what we're going to do is we're going to head on back. I'm going to measure each palette in terms of the size and the weight. And then I'm gonna book it in to the Korea to come collect tomorrow to go to our distributor called Ready Milk and they will be dispatching all our stock to their existing customers, which is very cool. So let's get on to the next step, which is the label making. So this is the Toll website. I use them as my courier when I want to ship out big packages throughout Victoria. I find they offer me the better rate. So what I do is I create a shipment. So you normally you log in and then you create your own shipment which goes here and then you schedule when you want it to be dispatched. So right now it's 4.30 so it's a bit late for pickup. Then afterwards I tend to put the invoice number. Then here, this is the interesting bit. This bit here is when it says like what are you shipping so I will ship, say that I'm shipping out a pallet. I'm going to put in the dimensions so that's 110 centimeters by 110 and the height is 112. Now the weight and I tend to do that real quick as I just calculate there's 30 boxes, they're around 2.0 two kilos each so that's 60 and then I'll add the weight of the wooden pallet so that's around I would say 68 kilos then I go print and I print my labels so that should just be two which is here printing this is how it's gonna look like this your two little labels and that's pretty much it and then I will just cut it I've actually run out of proper shipping labels which makes it very tricky so I just kind of go old school and just cut it normally like that that is good to go I pop it onto my palette and it gets picked up tomorrow now once that's done I have to go and print my manifest now that is a document you need to give to your career so they know for example that they're picking up to go to Helen and they're picking up two pallets that is around 168 kilos so they know that it's you know it's not just a little box it's it's two pallets. I print. There we go. Now I also print that, which is here. And then the last, last part, which is the final step, is you book a pickup. That is how I do a pallet order from the beginning to packing it, to putting on the pallet, to getting it shipped out, and getting picked up tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed watching that. I hope that was interesting. I don't know if that might not be something you like to do, but this is what I do on a regular basis when I get orders to be sent out to my distributors to be able to just blast out the product everywhere in the regions I look after. So if that is something that you like to see more of, do let me know in the comments below. I want to do show you stuff that you don't see often, that is not very shown. The behind the scenes of running a business. This is the raw, unglamorous side of things. 
I do this pretty much every single day and at first it was really hard it was very nerve-wracking and very tricky learning all these different steps and processes and requirements but after a while like now I just know it so much by heart so yeah there we go I hope you guys enjoyed watching that little tutorial on how to wrap a palette with Manon also please do not judge my current state of the warehouse it is looking extremely empty because there's massive delays of shipments right now we're waiting for our containers to arrive this week which is very exciting and I hope and I pray the lords of the shipping containers that they will clear customs in time because this is like the summer season this is the busiest time of the year for us and we just keep like selling out non-stop like super quick so this is why it's looking extremely empty by the end of this week it will be full to the brim again <laughs> and also insanely messy because the stock is just arriving at different times different batches and I'm just like rearranging it that's all that's all I wanted to say just a little disclosure <laughs>